Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations, world-renowned CW Hound. I'd like to uh, answer a question that was recently posed to me. How wide is a CW signal? Now, at first you might think, well, it has zero bandwidth because, after all, it's nothing but a carrier. But that's not quite true. It is not really a continuous, steady, unmodulated carrier. A CW signal is, in fact, a modulated signal. It goes on and off and on and off. And it also has a shaping factor, that is, how rapidly the transitions go between uh, rise and peak and then peak back down to decline the corners. In other words, in the video that I showed you about CW shaping just a day or two ago. The bandwidth of a CW signal is roughly four times the speed in words a minute. So if you're keying your transmitter at 10 words a minute, then your actual CW signal needs about 40 hertz of bandwidth in order to be clearly conveyed. If you cut the bandwidth any narrower than that, it's going to start ringing or making soft, uh, it's going to sound soft and muddled. If you are keying at 40 words a minute, then you're going to need about 160 hertz uh, of bandwidth. On the average, depending, that's based on an average well-shaped CW signal sent according to the standard timing protocols. So. The question is then, when you have a receiver with a bandwidth that says CW and you select that and it's 500 hertz, why is it 500 hertz? Uh, if nobody uh, hardly ever sends faster than 50 words a minute, which would be about 200 hertz, why not make it 200 hertz? Well, there are various reasons for that. It's, um, you might want to hear more than one signal at a time. You might want to be able to tune back and forth without having the signal uh, just jump into your passband and then jump right back out again. But the CWIF passband on your receiver is not necessarily the bandwidth of CW. CW bandwidth increases with speed because the modulation rate, the on-off rate, increases as the speed increases. So. Remember that rule. It's roughly this. Multiply your words a minute by four, and you will get the bandwidth that is required for good conveyance of a CW signal, the minimum bandwidth that you need. Ten words a minute, 40 hertz. Fifty words a minute, 200 hertz. Thirty words a minute, 120 hertz. Thereabouts. That's my take on this, and I got that off of a, off of a thread, actually, from a, a German uh, operator who is also very much into CW. You can also look it up in the ARRL uh, handbook, I believe, offers a formula for that, but it's somewhere in that ballpark. The bandwidth of a CW signal. Believe it or not, a CW signal does have bandwidth. Stangibalisco. W1GV saying 73 and so long for now.